Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another masterclass with yours truly, Keith Orion, the man who is obsessed with making great music and teaching you how to make your own. And in today's course, I'm going to teach you how to make vocals in that honestly never mind Drake vibe like this. I'm excited to show you guys what I did to make this. I've been super inspired by this latest album. If you want to make vocals in this sort of house, dance, modern Drake style. So if that sounds good, set aside a little bit of time and let's jump into it. So when it comes to mixing vocals, it's really important to have a reference track because you have to know what you're shooting for, right? Myself while I'm all on display. And so I wanted to shoot to do something pretty similar. So this is what mine sounds like with all the effects, all the processing. So his obviously sounds way more professional than mine, but I think that I at least got mine somewhere where I felt comfortable with them. So if you want any of my Ableton templates, all of that stuff, you can find that in the description below. So if you zoom in here, I've chopped out the breaths, but you can tell these aren't all the same take, right? So this section is from 4-1. So comping is huge. Like you, you don't have to take the entire take. Like you want to take the bits and pieces that you like the most. And then I came in here and I chop out all the unnecessary kind of white noise. And then I fade each clip in and out. So that way they kind of fold nicely together. So this is what the vocal sounds like without the beat. That ain't gone, that ain't gone, that it for you. That ain't gone, that ain't gone, that it oh. And so always you clean up the vocals, you get the pieces that you want, and then we're gonna mix them down. So I started with auto tune, pretty high retune speed. I always change the input to low male, the key to B. Also like, I like having this format on. That just to me sounds better. And then I humanize it just a little bit. The second thing that I'm gonna do is EQ it. So this is what the vocal sounds like without anything on it. That ain't gone, that ain't gone, that it for you terribly recorded but the first thing is this req6 from waves any eq will do clean it up baby clean it up with the eq and then i'm going to clean up with this ssl channel i will bump the volume all the way up i'm going to scan through these kind of low frequencies and see if i can hear something i don't like Daddy, oh so it's super boxy in there to me and so i cut out a lot that ain't gone, that ain't that's a huge difference so that's the first one. Second one is again down here. This is kind of in the 0.5 range. I'll show you what that uh, frequency is. That ain't gone, that ain't gone. Kind of a little whistly. You. That ain't gone, that ain't gone, that ain't and then this last one is at 1.21. I'm adding a little bit of compression. Pretty fast attack and fast release. Four to one ratio. Uh, negative about 11 threshold here on the gain reduction here not anything super crazy just trying to catch some peaks so this de-esser clean up my s's a little bit and then this is a multi-band compressor and in this i'm compressing each of these bands this is just the lows not a ton but some attack and release pretty fast attack and release a little bit here almost none on the highs I'm, I'm just trying to dial in, take out the stuff that I don't like at first right now. And then I know I'll be able to add it, uh, add in things, big up the vocal a little bit later on. All right, so I'm ready to add the volume back into the vocal. And I'm gonna do this with my R compressor and I'm gonna get it back with this output gain knob. You, you'll, you'll be able to add gain back in, but just be careful. So I don't add this back on until I'm doing it with the beat because I want to make sure that I'm getting the level right with the beat rather than just trying to get like the ballpark level because as soon as you bring the beat back in it's going to sound weird bunch of gain up there maybe negative six on the gain reduction here a little bit about about two to one ratio high attack pretty fast release as well and i'm going to add even more with this one and again like this is another multi-band compressor the first one was to tame frequencies this one we're going to be pushing up and so i use this pop vocal preset i start there and this is what it sounds like with the pop vocal preset the last bit of maybe compression that we're going to add is the sibilance this is just maybe a, this is basically another de-esser so these are my settings you can copy them if you want 
I always have this at the end of my chain as well. It's to kind of tame everything at the very end. So the first one is, I like to have a couple different delays. I have this one eighth delay on. When you are adding effects, do it with the beat. Trust me, otherwise all your effects are gonna get lost once you bring the beat back. Um, This is the delay, the eighth delay. Ooh. That ain't gone, that ain't gone, that it for you. This is a fourth delay, fourth note delay. That ain't gone, that ain't gone, that it for you. And then a little bit of plate reverb. This is kind of just puts it like in a room. That ain't gone, that ain't gone, that it. It starts to just create kind of that ambience mm -hmm. for the vocals. So that's my first reverb. It's a plate reverb. Our verb, this verb is when you start to get some of the vibes super long decay time a bit of this just a little dabble do you with this reverb Gone, daddy. Oh. pretty long decay tail there so i have this doubler on direct turned off because we're on the parallel split and then a meta flanger default preset Gone, daddy, for you. and then this is a drake 40 hack this is the renaissance axe hard so this is with this tight vocal preset and then just a little bit mixed in so here's how it sounds with the beat doubles i don't want my doubles to sound exactly like my main takes so i like to add a lot more effects to my doubles oh i want you I need you. To me, it just feels like it's just, it's warmer. It feels like it's more of a hook. It has more going on. For me, I added some ad libs in here at the very end. And then I've got, a, again, a lot more effects on these ad libs. These are sound toys. I've got some delay. This is kind of like a flanger of sorts just to make it sound weird. And then the highs rolled off with it all together. Oh, I want you. There you have it, folks. That's all she wrote. Again, if you want my this Ableton template so that we can just plug and play, you can find that in my producer vault. It's in the description below. But if you want a vocal template like Tory Lane's Party Next Door, like a Drake, like The Weeknd, I have all of those on my website, beatschoolonline.com. You can check those out. I hope that helps y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, I appreciate you more than you know. Please drop a comment below. Check out all the resources in the project description. All right, thanks.